Hey. Let's go this way. Yes. Thanks for taking the time you know, today to, to do this. It means a lot. No, no problem. I know you love living here. Right? Yes, absolutely. So uh, We were kind of going through a difficult time because my husband and I uh, had just became caregivers for my in-laws mm -hmm. and we were kind of in a hurry searching for the right house, but we also had kind of a list that we knew we needed. And we also, growing up, both him and I have grown up in Onslow County, and we also had the neighborhoods that we wanted. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things we were not kind of willing to negotiate yeah, yeah. on, <laughs> as you know. Yeah. So just the whole process of you being willing to go with what we needed, but you were diligent in making sure that our needs were met, and but at a very fast pace, which was really important to us because we had like a huge need to get them in a house before anything medical happened. So it was wonderful. And I gained a friend, like I said. <laughs> Mutual. <laughs> so what's your idea of a perfect neighborhood? And why is this neighborhood perfect for you? I think you already had my list, didn't you? So large <laughs> lots, wooded, private, but a sense of community. Yeah. Um, the houses, I, I've, I've never been a fan of cookie cutter neighborhoods mm -hmm. that where you know all the houses are exactly the same. Yeah. I like that this neighborhood is eclectic in the homes, but there's a really good sense of traditional style here. Highland was always that neighborhood when I was a kid that had the beautiful Christmas lights and we would, that was like the neighborhood that we would drive. Yeah. Being in the country, we didn't have like the, the subdivisions that had the, the lights and Highland was that subdivision that I always drove through as a kid and was always enchanted by it. I did so, that too, driving yes. through it, kind of yes. wishing that one day. That dreaming, I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna have that house one day or I'm gonna live here. <laughs> yeah, <same>. absolutely. <laughs> and how about the wildlife? Ah! <laughs> We live in a pocket of paradise outside of the city because let me tell you something, we have everything. We have deer, owls, Fox. foxes, mm -hmm. yet yeah, you're outside the city limits and you feel like you're in kind of like a different, your own little pocket of paradise in my opinion. I love that, pocket yes. of paradise. Yes, I do feel like it. I feel like that immensely. And you know, HOAs I love. I think they're, they are needed in neighborhoods, <laughs> but I also feel like ours is kind of unobtrusive. It's not as political as some HOAs can get. Okay. So I think that's important. It's voluntary. It is. My my daughter's piano teacher lives seven houses down from okay. us. Um, it's that's just convenient. such, it is. And it's a safe neighborhood. It's a beautiful neighborhood. The sidewalks are beautiful. It's just well kept. Yeah. It's wonderful. I love living here too. So. And I have great neighbors. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know she moved here for me. <laughs> Thanks for taking time out of your day today and showing us the neighborhood. Now I know why you love this neighborhood just as much as I do. Absolutely. And why you make the best neighborhood. <laughs> Likewise.